Hello YouTube and knife people and modification people. I'm Joe and you are watching Ink and Iron and today we are re-anodizing two items. One of them is a titanium click pen and the other is the pocket clip to my Spyderco Caribbean. Um, you are watching me anodize right now in a solution of baking soda and bottled water. Basically dissolved as much soda in there as I could. I then did a 9 volt gold base layer and then it masked off certain areas with rubber cement. After the rubber dried, I dipped it again at 27 volts, going for a deep blue, and now I'll show you the results. Okay, here we are with the results. You can see a whole bunch of rubber cement. What we're gonna do to get this rubber cement off is just pull on it. We can see that gold underneath. So uh, I'm gonna spend a couple minutes doing that, and I'll come right back. Okay, so we got that barrel all de-glued. Let me bring in the light for a little more detail. So pretty cool. The subtlety is not bad. Kind of like how that fades from gold into the gold that was sort of masked off. That's pretty cool. I can tell, and maybe you can see a little bit of salt buildup. Well, still kind of caked up on there, so I will remove all the rubber cement and then uh, give these all a wash with soap and water and uh, I'll come back and show you the fully reassembled pen. Oh, and the knife. <laughs> okay, so we are back. I have washed this with uh, vinegar initially to neutralize any of the baking soda. Then I rinsed it with water and then finally rinsed it with rubbing alcohol just to make sure everything was clean and then I wasn't leaving too much water. Uh, lying around. As we can see there's a pretty subtle effect although on the tail end here you can see a little bit more significant coloring as well as on the clip and a little bit especially right here on the high spots. Um, I took a thousand grit sandpaper to this before I uh, re-anodized and apparently that sort of satin smooth finish anodizes much more brightly like much more saturated so uh, I'm going to keep that in mind for the future because this is a pretty cool and subtle and sort of sandy result. However, uh, in the future, if I have a smooth piece of titanium, I know that I'm going to get huge pops of color and uh, that this effect is going to be multiplied a whole bunch. Um, I am pretty happy with how this turned out. I do like this more than just the uh, gold, sort of general overall gold I had before. So uh, yeah, this is definitely going in my, in my pocket from uh, now till uh, probably the next pen that I anodize. And just so you can see it, I also redid the Spurtico Caribbean clip. This was much more dull before. It is still a little bit muted because of its rough finish. And you can see a little bit of pink kind of coloring still left in that Spurtico logo, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, overall, I am very happy with today's results. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Follow this channel for more content like this. We do knives, pens, EDC gear, all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I try to do it as much as possible, although I am headed back to work soon. So uh, expect a channel update shortly. Anyway, I've been Joe, and you have been watching Ink and Iron. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.